What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my first ever haul. <laughs> Why does that sound? That just sounds so funny. Okay, but on a real on a real note you guys I look back through all my videos. I've never done a damn haul yet. I'm like, mm, okay I feel like I shop on Sephora.com and Ulta and Nordstrom and Saks and Neiman's I, I would have to do a haul every fucking hour. So um, I've never done one, but I got a lot of requests from the other day I posted this picture and everyone was like Bitch, what is that fucking huge bag? Um, girl, I cleaned out the Gucci store. We're just gonna be really upfront about it. I cleaned the motherfucker out. And I hate that I even have to do this, but YouTube has been crazy lately with so many people and opinions, so I don't feel like I have to say it, but listen. If you have a problem with how people spend their money, you shouldn't go worry about yourself, boo-boo, because we are all allowed to spend our money exactly how we want to because we fucking earned it on our own. So don't let anyone make you feel bad for doing you. I see a lot of YouTubers and Instagrammers like never like fully really being themselves or hiding who they are. You don't gotta hide yourself. If you bought something, fucking show it off or don't show it off or wear it. And I think that so many people take things as showy when um, that's just not the case. And you can be a really humble and down to earth person and still like handbags. I don't really see why people wanna make such a big deal out of everything, but like my best friend Manny says, if you don't like it, don't fucking watch it. Now I am really into designer bags. I've been collecting designer stuff for probably almost 12 years. Ever since I started to get a little few dollars from MySpace, I've been collecting Louis Vuitton, Prada, Fendi, and Gucci for some reason. Well, I know why. For some reason, I think they have a whole new creative director because Gucci lately has been slaying. Yeah. Slaying. When I say slaying, I'm talking like I've never bought in this many pink purses before in my life over the last six months. I know I've put a few of them in my favorite videos because <sighs> they're just epic. So I think since I've never done a haul before, I'm gonna make my own damn rules. I mean, there's not really that many rules, right? Well, we're, we're gonna find out in a second. So I have the bag that everyone went crazy for on Instagram and my Snap. I might block out my entire existence, but we're gonna try. Oh my God. She's standing up. All right, so here's the bag. It is literally the size of my entire body. Oof, I'm like, girl, save my motherfucking tree. I'm about to recycle this though, for real. Um, this is the jumbo size bag. I don't know what the fuck. Um, I've never got a bag this big before. So I'm gonna be diving into everything from shoes, bags, to accessories, to even makeup, because yes, Gucci has some sickening makeup, but um, let's just dive into this right now. All right, first up, since I am a makeup obsessed whore, let's just dive into the makeup. So Gucci has <sighs> one of the best blush formulas I have ever used. Um, the compact is so cute, that little logo, very iconic, and it's very thick, it's sturdy, it's heavy, and then bam. Uh, I've already used this a few times since I bought it. Love this guy. It has the Gucci print embedded on the makeup. Come on, embossed, you better work. And then it comes with a little brush, which to me is not really necessary because who still uses these to apply their, their blush? I'm like, girl. The color is gorgeous. They have a lot of blushes. This one is called Soft Peach, and I am obsessed with this color. And then also, they have, oh, I haven't even used this one yet. This one is called Coral Flower, and she looks like this, like a little more brighter toned version of that. And then, uh, last but not least, uh, this guy. It's more like a beigey peach, and this one is called Spring Rose, which I've used once before, but mama needed a refill. So if you've never tried Gucci makeup before, there are a lot of hits and a lot of misses. Um, I don't love the entire line, but these I am obsessed with. And then they had to go and drop a primer on this primer obsessed bitch. So this is the, bam, we'll show the packaging. Love the bottle. Very luxurious, feels very heavy. This is called the Gucci Face Silk Priming Serum and it's supposed to be very hydrating. I used this before I did today's makeup and my skin is looking really nice. Ever since I got back from Bora Bora, my skin has been really just like very alligator-y. Um, I'm feeling like a crocodile lately. So I was scared of using something new in case it was like really drying because sometimes you'll see something that says something and it really doesn't do what it's supposed to do. This actually did. Now I've only used it once, so I'm gonna use it a few more times um, and see if it is really amazing or if I was just having a good day. But um, 
Cheers! In my August favorites, I put in a Gucci backpack that kind of looked like a little Sailor Moon and everyone was like, where the fuck do you get that? Because I guess they only made a few, which I'm that shady bitch. Listen, I'm a Scorpio. And when someone tells me there's only 10 made, I'm like, I'll take it. I am someone that just loves that just little, I don't know, it just it's like excitement. It's like, it's very addicting. I just love the feeling of having something that is very rare. So that backpack was everything. Everything. I got so many compliments on it and then they had to drop part two and let me reach in here girl Woo! Oh my god, I just get off on, on on fashion. I just can't breathe. Okay, so this one, remember the last one had a heart This one has a little Gucci pearl on the end and it is in Blazed in spikes and this big old Jaguar head. Is that a Jaguar? Is that a bear? Is that a, I don't know Looks like my ex. It has the same magnetic pull, and oh, I just love it. I'm obsessed. And come on, the chains. You would think that this might be uncomfortable on your back, but um, I wore mine to Disneyland, and I was fine. So this guy, unreal. If you want this, I would call them immediately because I know there's only a few left in the whole entire company. So, cheers to this new backpack obsession of mine. Next is handbags. I have heart palpitations right now, my girl. So Gucci has this new print on their purses and shoes. <sighs> this is the Gucci Ghost. So they hired someone to graffiti a lot of their stuff and just kind of like stylize it differently. It's like a whole new pattern. Oh my god, you guys. I'm sorry, but I love it. It looks like someone took a marker and wrote all over it, and it's bright, it's neon, it's obnoxious, and it's right at my alley. Um, this has the same sort of chain design as the backpack, and she is just perfect for just wearing around the house, running errands. It's very easy to just throw everything in here, inhaler, condoms, setting spray, dildos, everything will fit in here, and of course, your wallet. <sighs> when I saw that ghost purse, I like, I had a moment. I'm stuttering because I was like, <laughs> um, and then Gucci had to go and drop some damn shoes. The box comes in a gorgeous little limited edition uh, animal print, and then I love how they changed the logo to, to match the bag. I die, <sighs> girl. And these are the matching sneakers. I am such a sneaker whore. In my house, I have a closet full of just sneakers. Um, I'm a collector. I love limited edition shoes. <sighs> I'm like, hi, girl. Mwah. I love these, and I, I can't wait to wear them. There are more sneakers because Gucci has so many new shoes out. I'm just like, you better fucking slow it down. Now, these ones are... Girl, I just can't. I really can't. These are like ruby red slippers, and a funny story, I follow Gucci Man on Snapchat, and he was wearing these the other day, and I was like, okay, bitch, I see you. Um, these are just really comfy, like every day I'm going to the grocery store, I'm just hanging out, I'm going to the skate park. These are really comfy. I have the silver version, and I'm such a fan. I don't know if the beauty lights are not, they're not really showing the full potential, but when the sun hits this, oh my god, girl. Don't play me. I'm just gonna turn on my iPhone flashlight so you guys can see. Oh, that glitter though, what? Oh, I die. I'm like, what's up, Dorothy? You better step aside, girl. All right, oh, these are really cute. So Nathan got these little low tops. I'm not a low top person at all, but Gucci has flames on a lot of their stuff now, and these are so, they're just so fucking clean though, girl. Um, I'm like, okay, and I love it because it has a little pink trim, like me. Um, and these are just really comfy. Nathan loves actually just skateboarding these. My skating comment earlier was not a joke. I like to just smoke weed at the skate park and read a fucking Stephen King book while he is uh, doing all them damn tricks. But um, these are really cute for men. So any girls out there that want to get their boyfriends a birthday present, bitch, don't sleep on these. All right, and last shoes of the day are these amazing boots. <gasps> Oh, look at that heart. First of all, I'm just looking at the heart like, it's so cute. These are little pump boots. Now look at that little animal head that was on the um, backpack, is on here. And it looks something like this. Now the other one has the Gucci logo on it. So cute, but I mean, come on, the heart, that stole the show for me. And the heel is a really little, so I love wearing these to business meetings, like this type of style, and I cannot wait to wear these for fall. Come on now, they're kind of cowboy-y, but really high fashion, and 
Oh, they just feel so cunt. And this may be boring to some people, but we're, we're going into the fall season, and now that I have my hairline surgery, sometimes I'm just not in the mood to do my hair, or it's just, you know, it's been growing really crazy. I'm trying to tame all that new growth. So Gucci has new cute little fall beanies out. The white one, I just gravitate to it right away. I'm like, I love you. Oh, I'm not gonna mess up his hair, but y'all know what a damn beanie looks like. Um, or in Atlanta, they call them Scully's, girl. Um, I love it, the classic Gucci red and green and then this one's cute it has a little a little pattern on the front and then hey, I'm ready for fall. listen I put in sunglasses and all my favorites I am a sunglasses addict anytime I'm not wearing makeup you're gonna find me in sunglasses so Gucci has some of my favorite glasses ever on earth and first of all the case alone is iconic I'm like girl that triangle shape though Stop, a red sign. Okay, so these ones, these almost remind me of like 3D movie glasses. They are really cute, um, they're mirrored. Come on, mirror. And they have a little Gucci band and emblem on the side, which I love. Come on, let's fuck up this hair, girl. Come on, bobby pins, move over. These are really cunty, very big. So if you have no eyebrows, which I'm probably the only person uh, watching this that has none, Perfect for no brows, girl, but you can see a little bit of the eye on the side. Uh, uh, uh. I love these. They're just really cute. They're really sickening. They're very like... Mm. Now let's dive into some clothing for the last but not least. Now this is something that I bought my assistant Alicia. It was just her birthday and when I saw this, I'm like, girl, because you gotta take care of the people that work for you and that have your mother fucking back and that really help you know run the show behind the scenes with me um so this is the new gucci fall little blue dress yes honey the bumblebees the flowers and the color on alicia's skin tone oh i i just can't so this little number is just so gorgeous and it kind of hangs like right below the knee Perfect for the fall and some really like thigh high boots. But um, the new creative director of Gucci is slaying and this just feels so nice. I'm just like, hi girl, yes. I might cut this up into a scarf, bitch. Uh, last but not least, I was on the Gucci Instagram the other day and there was this model, he was like six foot four, and he had on, listen, he had on a bubblegum pink leather suit like a men's suit now i wore my ashton michael pink suit to the apma awards here's a little reminder right above me Bing. and that one i was like oh my god so fucking unreal hi shout out to ashton i love you so anytime i see anything pink i'm like oh my god because it's really hard to find so if you don't get things custom made you gotta find them so when i am looking for shit anything that's pink i have to have so I head up the Gucci store in Topanga. Shout out to everyone there. Hi guys. Mwah. And I was like, okay, like, what do we do? Like, I, I might, I'll, I'll die without this. Like, I might want to get buried in this. And um, they made it happen, you guys. So I'm gonna show a little sneak peek. I'm gonna probably wear this to an award show or an event. But listen, Ooh, girl, it is the softest leather, the color of bubblegum. Ugh, it's just, it is stunning, girl. Stunning, and look at the buttons on the arm. Oh my God. This is so like sophisticated, bad bitch. There are only a few made in the company, and these are all handmade in Italy, so I am honored to have a piece like this in my collection. I'm just like, oh, all right, put me in the casket, bitch. Thank you so much for watching my first ever haul, my little fashion haul. If you guys wanna see more of my fashion excursion adventures, then let me know in the comments below. You guys know anything that you guys wanna watch, I'm down to film. I definitely collect a lot of stuff and you can find me on Rodeo probably once or twice a week. So if you guys wanna see more of these types of videos, um, then let me know. But besides that, I'm going to be back to traveling. So I'm gonna go hop on an airplane and I will see you guys on the next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.